Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Fish Friday for Lenten season. And I think this is the last. I think we got one more Friday before Easter, y'all, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not by a calendar. Hold on just a second. Not by a calendar. Let's see here. Yeah, we got one more Friday. Next Friday is Good Friday. So you got this Friday, and then you got one more Friday, which is Good Friday. But this Friday right now is a Good Friday. Because we're going not fancy. We're not going fancy at all. We're going old school. Something I've been eating for years growing up. I don't eat as much as I used to. It's this old cafe growing up called a Windmill Restaurant. My mama used to work there. I never worked there. But mama used to work there, and it was open for years. And one of the best things they had on the menu was a fried catfish sandwich. And I know exactly how they did it, because I know who was cooking there in the back. I had the inside tip, which was my mama. I'm going to do it just like they used to do it. Used to sell it for $2.50, y'all. $2.50. And that don't include the catfish, that included the freeze fries that came with it, too. And you get your glass of sweet tea. They, sell it. they used to serve the sweet tea in mason jars. Y'all don't know about that. That's old school. Mason jars, sweet tea, and the mason jars, y'all. But it was $2.50 fried catfish sandwich on a toasted hamburger bun, tartar sauce, lettuce, tomato, wrapped in that uh, white paper on a toothpick, and you go to town. $2.50, you can't beat that. So I'm going to do it the same way. Very simple, very easy. I got some catfish here. I got them all heating up. Just a second now. I'm going to season my fish here. Put my buns here on the side. We'll toast them later after the catfish get ready. I got a little cavernous here. Of course, they didn't have cavernous back in the day. They did, but they didn't even probably know about it. I didn't discover it until 1988. Okay, and a little salt and pepper. That's it. We're going to mix that up in here. We're going to hit this with a little half and half, y'all. I'm going to put a little half and half on here. On this catfish. One second here. Like I say, y'all, there's nothing fancy, but these are the best catfish sandwiches. I, I, I haven't tasted anything like it since. In years, in years, y'all. Hold, Hold on here. I was about to say, Chef, Jeff, get it together. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with just a little half and half, not much. Just much, kind of mix it up in there. That's going to be our kind of our, our glue there to our uh, breading. So move this out the way. Y'all hear my songbirds? They really now today. You know spring is around. I'm going to let that bird right in my house, y'all. Y'all do. Tell you the story about that time there was a bird in my house. Y'all remind me one day I will tell y'all about that. About three years ago, the bird was in my house for like three days. I didn't know it. I saw the remnants of it. And there's something was in my house, but I didn't know it. But I'll tell y'all about that one day. So, anyway, we're going to use some regular cornmeal here. Regular yellow cornmeal. And... Regular AP flour. That's it. We're gonna put a little AP flour in there. That's it. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. No fancy breading mix. Nothing. That's it. That's all they use. Cornmeal, a little flour in there. That was it. Now I'm gonna let this grease get up to 350 degrees. We're gonna come back. And we're going to start frying this catfish, y'all. Old school fish Friday, y'all, for Lenten season. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. The oil is heating up here. It's all the way to three-something, y'all. I need to get this fish in there, y'all. Almost 380 here. So let's get this fish going in here. Of course, as I put this fish in here, it's definitely going to... The oil is definitely going to go down a little. Y'all shook up in here, y'all. This is all, uh, move y'all over here to the grease. We're gonna start frying this fish off. Like I say, y'all, nothing fancy about this breading. Just regular old 
Some regular old fish. Like you fried at home. How many I can get in here, y'all? I can get it all in here. I think I can get it all in here, y'all. That say nothing like some good old fried catfish, right? Here we go. Let that fry off, y'all. Get the frying here. I got my pan here next to me with the uh, pan next to me with the rack on it, and we'll be back once it's done. Be right back. Sorry about that. I thought I had the camera rolling. Okay, y'all. Look at that pretty catfish right there. Beautiful, crispy catfish. Nice and crispy. Just took it out of the uh, the oven. The oven. The, uh, the grease here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to step off here, y'all. See that bun there? I got my bun. I need to toast off. Let me cut my oil off. Put this out for weight. And uh, we're going to grill this hamburger bun off with some butter. You know how I toast it on both sides with some butter, y'all. And we're going to uh, put in my skillet here, toast it off, come back. And we're going to, let me grab my butter here. Definitely how they did it back in the restaurant. Of course, they use the melted butter, of course. You can use melted butter. It's the same concept. It's going to melt when I hit that hit that hot skillet. Put a little butter on both sides, and I'm going to flip it over, y'all. And I'm going to toast the bun. That's what I do. When I go to a burger place, especially Whataburger or something like that, or Dairy Queen, I specifically ask them to toast my bun on both sides. There's nothing worse than having a hamburger or a sandwich or catfish sandwich. And the bun is cold and not toasted. It ruins the whole eating experience for me. So, anyway, y'all, let me step off here, toast this bun up. We're going to come back. We're going to build this uh, catfish salmon. Old school Friday fish Friday for Lenten season, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, let's build this, build this burger, build this sandwich. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, they would do also, I'm going to put tartar sauce on both sides of the bread. Come on out of there. Come on out of there, tartar sauce. I'm definitely going to spread it around there. I like a lot of tartar sauce on mine, y'all. Let me grab me a spoon here. Make sure it's nice and even on there. You use whatever tartar sauce you want to use. I got this from Trader Joe's, huh? I don't remember why I got this from. Anyway, lettuce on there. You know I like the shredded lettuce. I think it makes the sandwich eat better. Thinly sliced tomatoes. As many as you want. I like to put three on mine. Okay. Now, the creature of the hour. Creature of the hour, y'all. That catfish on there. Couple of loads like that. Of course, it'll be flatter. This one here, particular catfish, I don't know why it curls up on you. Hey, it's all good for me, y'all. It's all good for me. Okay. Put that top bun on there, y'all, like that. Top bun on there like that. I'm not finished, y'all. It was just like they used to do in the cafe. Take some burgers. Sandwiches. Lock it up on there. Roll it up under there like that. Get your toothpick there. Stick it in there like that. Let me grab my other one here. Mmm. Mmm. Tooth fell off, y'all. Get your hat. Mmm. Like that. Go up under there like that. Pit. How you like that, y'all? Let me grab me a plate. Mm. One right there. One right there. All right, y'all. I'm gonna step off here. 
do my world famous YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna come back. We're gonna see just how good these are. Old school fried catfish sandwiches. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Look at this here, y'all. I don't know which one to pick. Which one should I pick, y'all? Look at that. Look at that there. Get those cat fried catfish sandwich. Like in the cafe days. I'm telling you, y'all. Look at this here. This, this is my childhood right there. 250. You can get you some fries with that and some sweet tea. Hey, don't go wrong. Let me take this toothpick out of here. Let's go in here and move this paper down just a little. How many people used to bite into the paper? Be so hungry, bite right into the paper. Y'all know you've done that too. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Perfectly seasoned catfish. Nice and crispy on the outside. Moist on the inside. A little toilet salt on there. Mmm. Okay, all you need some fries. Mmm. 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 That's why I like to do my lettuce shredded. That way you get a better eating experience. Y'all know that's my pet peeve. On, uh, on burgers and sandwiches, I, like, I don't like a thick tomato. I don't like my lettuce thick. And you just eat, you pull out one whole tomato or lettuce on your pack. One more bite here, and we're gonna close this video. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Mm. You never had a catfish sandwich, y'all. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. So, anyway, this ain't the healthiest thing for it. But I'm telling you, it's good, y'all. I ain't gonna tell you something my hair, I'll tell you something I know. So, anyway, let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok. And oldschoolsoapbook.com. Remember the hashtag 2022? 23. I'm sorry. 23. Just show some kindness. Old School Soap. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soap day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.